Lesson 4. Interviewing a Potential Roommate. Part 1. Short Sentence. Can you tell me a bit about yourself and what brings you to consider being roommates? I recently moved to this area for a new job, and I'm looking for a stable living situation that's also cost-effective. How would you describe your daily schedule and lifestyle? I work regular office hours during the week and enjoy spending my evenings either reading or going for a jog. I'm generally a quiet person. What are your preferences regarding cleanliness and organization in shared living spaces? I'm quite tidy and always make an effort to keep common areas clean. I believe in shared responsibilities for maintaining a comfortable living environment. Are you a night owl or an early bird? I'm more of an early bird. I like getting up early and having a quiet start to the day. How do you typically handle conflicts or disagreements in a shared living situation? I believe in open communication and addressing issues calmly and directly. Finding solutions that works for everyone is very important. Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions, especially when it comes to shared groceries or cooking? I'm flexible with food and I usually cook for myself. I'm open to coordinating shared grocery expenses or occasionally cooking together if that's something you're interested in. What is your approach to paying bills and handling other household responsibilities? I prefer setting up a system for bills and creating a cleaning schedule to make sure shared responsibilities are clear. Communication is vital in managing these aspects effectively. How do you feel about having guests over and what are your expectations regarding visitors? I enjoy having friends over occasionally, but I always ensure it's not disruptive to other people. I'm respectful of shared spaces and would expect the same from others. Is there anything specific you're looking for in a roommate or a living situation? I value open communication, mutual respect for shared spaces, and a positive and friendly living environment. Can you share an experience from a previous living arrangement and how you handled any challenges that arose? In my previous apartment, we set up a weekly house meeting to discuss any concerns or upcoming events. It helped create an open dialogue and resolve issues proactively. Lesson 4. Interviewing a Potential Roommate. Part 2. Monologue. When looking for a roommate, it is important to consider compatibility in terms of lifestyle, cleanliness, communication, and expectations. For example, if you are a quiet person who enjoys a clean and organized living space, it would be ideal to find someone who shares these preferences. Open communication and addressing conflicts calmly and directly is also crucial in maintaining a positive living environment. It is important to discuss dietary preferences and restrictions, as well as establish a system for paying bills and handling household responsibilities. Having occasional guests is fine as long as it does not disrupt others and mutual respect for shared spaces is expected. Overall, creating a friendly and communicative living environment is essential for a successful roommate situation. Lesson 4. Interviewing a Potential Roommate. Part 3. Dialogue. Hello, this is Albert. Hi, I'm Jack. You called about the room for rent. Are you still interested? Yes, I'm still interested. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Yes, absolutely. I just want to be sure that we can get along. I agree with you. We must get along if we are going to be roommates. Are you a party animal? Oh, no, I'm a very quiet person. Great. Next, are you neat or are you a slob? I'm a pretty neat person. Are you a night owl or a day person? I'm a student. Occasionally, I need to stay up late if there's a big test the next day. Usually, early to bed, early to rise. Very good. Do you smoke? Actually, I quit smoking four years ago. Excellent. 
Do you have any questions for me? Just one. Is there a parking lot? Unfortunately, you have to park in the street. Well, I'm desperate. I'll take it anyway. Great. Let me know when you're ready to move in. I think it will be tomorrow if that's okay. No problem. I'll be here all day tomorrow. Lesson 4. Interviewing a Potential Roommate. Part 4. Dialogue. Background. Jack is interviewing Albert through phone call for potential roommate. Jack has lots of questions to ask Albert to see if he is a good candidate for roommate. Hello, is this Albert? Yes, speaking. Is this Jack? That's right. Thanks for taking the time to chat. I'm currently looking for a roommate, and I thought it would be good to have a conversation to see if we might be a good match. How does that sound to you? Absolutely. Jack, I'm interested in the room, and I'm happy to chat about it. Great. Let's start with the basics. Can you tell me a bit about yourself, what you do for work, and what your typical schedule is like? Sure. I work as a software developer, and my schedule is pretty regular. I'm usually out during the day and spend my evenings either working on personal projects or unwinding with a book or some music. Nice! As for the living situation, are you more of an early bird or a night owl? I'm definitely more of an early bird. I like to get up early and have a quiet start to the day. That's good to know. How about cleanliness and organization? How do you usually keep your living space? I'm pretty organized and like to keep things neat. I believe in shared responsibilities for common areas. Excellent. Communication is key in any shared living arrangement. How do you prefer to handle household matters, like bills and chores? I think setting up a system for bills and having a cleaning schedule is essential. Open communication is crucial. I'm all for discussing and finding solutions together. Sounds reasonable. What about guests? Do you often have people over? And how do you feel about guests visiting? I do have friends over occasionally but I always make sure it's not disruptive. Good to know. I'm fine with guests visiting as long as it's respectful and doesn't interfere with our living situation. How about shared items like groceries and cooking? Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions? I'm pretty flexible with food, and I usually cook for myself. If we decide to share groceries or cook together, I'm open to that. That's fair. Moving on. How do you handle conflict or disagreements? Are you open to discussing issues that might arise? Absolutely. Communication is key. I believe in addressing issues head-on and finding solutions that work for everyone involved. Excellent. Lastly, is there anything specific you're looking for in a roommate or in the living situation? I appreciate someone who values open communication, respects shared spaces, and is generally considerate. A friendly and positive living environment is important to me. Thanks, Albert. This has been really helpful. I'll take some time to think about everything, and I'll be in touch soon. Sounds good. Jack, thanks for considering me. Looking forward to hearing from you. Likewise. Albert, take care and talk to you soon. Lesson 4. Interviewing a Potential Roommate. Part 5. Substitution Words Exercise. I'm quite tidy and always make an effort to keep common areas clean. I'm pretty tidy and always make an effort to keep common areas clean. I'm rather tidy and always make an effort to keep common areas clean. I'm fairly tidy and always make an effort to keep common areas clean. How do you typically handle conflicts in a shared living situation? How do you typically manage conflicts in a shared living situation? How do you typically deal with conflicts in a shared living situation? How do you typically address conflicts in a shared living situation? Communication is vital in managing these aspects effectively. 
Communication is important in managing these aspects effectively. Communication is key in managing these aspects effectively. Communication is essential in managing these aspects effectively. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. I was wondering if I could ask you several questions. Occasionally, I need to stay up late if there's a big test the next day. Sometimes, I need to stay up late if there's a big test the next day. Once in a while, I need to stay up late if there's a big test the next day. Now and then, I need to stay up late if there's a big test the next day. I usually spend my evenings unwinding with a book or some music. I usually spend my evenings relaxing with a book or some music. I usually spend my evenings loosening up with a book or some music. I usually spend my evenings winding down with a book or some music. I'm definitely more of an early bird. I'm certainly more of an early bird. I'm absolutely more of an early bird. I'm totally more of an early bird. How do you usually keep your living space? How do you generally keep your living space? How do you normally keep your living space? How do you typically keep your living space? I'm pretty organized and like to keep things neat. I'm pretty organized and like to keep things tidy. I'm pretty organized and like to keep things well ordered. I'm pretty organized and like to keep things uncluttered.